I wish I could have. Well, I wish it would have been different, but our defense is just it's it's poor. It's it's just poor, and it let us down in the first half. Um, and we, you know, I thought we came out in the third quarter and, and really gave some great effort and got back in the game, and and that was great. But then it it just really let us down, and you know, all night long it did. So not going to beat many people playing defense like that. The uh... Downtown at the half, but you had a good third quarter. Yeah. Uh, Tony brought you back in the game. I think she scored nine points in the in the third quarter. Uh, it, ju it just looked like Wake did a good job of taking her out of the game in the yeah. in the fourth quarter. They yeah. did. Their defense was good. It took a lot of things away from us today, and I, and, and they, I mean, they really did a good job. Um, and and we didn't we didn't handle that their ball screen defense. You know, we run a lot of ball screens and and. So they took away a, a big part of what we do to score. Um, we had to find other ways to score. And I thought we had some good looks during the game. We just didn't knock them down. So you got you to knock those lot, you know, shots down when you finally find um, some space. But, um, but at the end of the day, you, you know, your, your energy and you, you thrive on your defense. And ours just isn't very good. That third quarter stuck out to me too because it seemed like the paint defense had made a significant jump in that third quarter as well. Was there something specific you told them that got them to where it was, or was it just an effort? Well, I mean, it, thing? Our, it was effort and energy. We, you know, we just we didn't have a whole lot of it in the first half, and it, and um, which is disappointing um, because I, I I don't know why. You know, that's a question I have to <laughs> why why we wouldn't have it from the get go. But I thought in the third quarter they had great effort, great energy, and we were kind of. And it was dictating what was going on on the floor, which is what we've got to do. So we've got to find a way to be more consistent in that. When, when a team has, has that kind of energy they had in the third quarter, and you see it with you know, other teams too, in, including the men's team here, what stops a player from continuing to play with that energy? Yeah, well, I tell you what, if you can figure that out, you know, these are young kids. And they sometimes it just doesn't. Five years from now, they're going to look back and go, "Golly, I, I wish I would have. <laughs> I wish I would have listened to what they were telling." You know, but they're they're young kids, and so they're emotional, and and sometimes it just doesn't ring with you know, it just doesn't settle in with them or the consistent part of it or whatever. I I don't have the answer to that. You just you keep coaching them and encouraging them to to play a certain way, and and it either rings true with them or, or, or it doesn't. So, um, but I just, we just, it wasn't our day. It, it wasn't our day defensively. I'm curious about the fouling because y'all you had a pretty big disparity of far less fouls than Wake Forest deeper into the game until you all had to start fouling at the end. Was that something you noticed? Or, well, yeah, I yeah. thought we were getting hammered there. I mean, uh, golly. I mean, there were like two, in one possession, we, we got hammered like three times and no call, and then they end up with the ball. And I'm like, I, I don't know, you know, but I'm not the official, so I can't, I'm not the one who makes the calls, but I can gripe about it, but it doesn't do any good, you know, just is what it is. You either get the call or you don't. Uh, what lies ahead, you know, as far as the importance of that final home game, uh, you know, as far as the, the seedings, you know, moving into the tournament, that type of thing. Yeah, we, we have one more game. We play Miami next Sunday at Miami, and that, you know, <clears throat> that's a game and we'd love to go down there and, and, and get. But we've got to play a lot better defense, and I don't know. You know, there's everything plays out on that last day, so who knows how these standings end up and, and how we proceed forward as far as, you know, the ACC tournament where we, you know, all that kind of stuff. I can't even think – all I can think about right now is just – trying to figure out how to get a win at Miami. If, if you don't mind, I'd like to maybe ask a question about the, the future of the program. Mm -hmm. You have some pretty good class coming in. Yeah. Girls that will be hungry, I imagine, to, yeah. to get on the court right away. With a deeper bench, does that help you, um, you know, prod them a little Definitely. more? Definitely, yeah. More competition, more you know, deeper bench, ability to – um, to do s some more things, you know, uh, depth and competition definitely help. Um, so that'll be a welcome addition. Yep. Final question. Anything 
that made you you'll remember of the departing seniors as this was their last home game? Just, you know, I wish I could have gotten a couple of them in there. You know, we had some that, you know, but it, it just didn't work out. But they, this was a great bunch. They're good kids, high character kids, and really great job in the classroom. And I mean, I'm just super, you know, I mean, I'm proud of them. They're going to have a walk away from here with a Georgia Tech degree and feel good about their contribution and, and just just good people, really good people. Proud of them. Mm -hmm. Did they lose to Virginia?